Well, it's Thursday, October 26th. I picked this spot kind of spontaneously. I was turkey hunting this morning. Of course, I had deer everywhere. I had turkeys too, but couldn't get a shot. I had a little buck as close as six yards this morning. Saw that buck at nine, saw four does at 11. Well, I saw another deer cross the road on the way home. Came back out here about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Had a doe and fawn walk up to me while I was at the truck. And then got my stuff, walked about 100 yards down the trail, jumped up two more deer. So I'm in between the last four deer I saw. And it's a bunch of mature oak trees in here. And I had planned on hunting farther back into the woods. And I got back there and just didn't see anything promising. Didn't see the kind of sign I was looking for. And there's really not much more sign here, but the fact that I saw four deer in this area tells me I should be climbing here. And if I kill one, the truck's just out of sight over there. very hard to let that deer walk but I've got one tag left and I've got a couple really nice ones on trail camera in a little private land honey hole I hunt and I didn't want to shoot him this early I've got a whole week vacation for the rut so I'm gonna save that last tag he might have been a little bigger than the one that I shot last week and He's like 120 yards from the truck. Would have been an easy drag out on public land. That was very, very tough to let him walk, but he did look like a two-year-old. 
He just looks skinny, very nice two-year-old. I bet he'll get shot this year, but if he doesn't, if he makes it by chance, he'll be a real nice one next year. Got some great footage and pictures, though, so it's one good thing about carrying a camera. If you don't shoot an arrow or a bullet, you at least shoot some video of them. I just came out here to kill a doe.